Hey guys, in this video, we'll be going over the sound design and audio in Cave Story, in particular, the Cave Story Plus version. So your main controls in Cave Story are a jump and a shooting with a variety of weapons throughout the game. The game focuses on using 8-bit sounds and it sounds like they've tried to replicate the limitations of what would be on an NES. I always liked the idea to use limitations of older consoles for a lot of these retro looking games. Clearly they didn't have to limit themselves, but it works for these games really well. The sound limitations of the NES are simply the use of only 5 channels simultaneously, being 2 pulse wave channels, a triangle wave, a noise channel, and a sample channel. It doesn't sound like they stuck with these limitations perfectly, but it's clear what their inspiration was. If you want to learn more about NES sound limitations, there's a link to a video in the description below. The whole soundscape in Cave Story feels really complete and full despite them sticking to these limitations. The game can be pretty hectic and crazy when there are a lot of enemies to fight on screen, and it was very rare that the sound was overbearing during these moments. Pretty much all of the gun sounds seem to focus on some use of a noise generator, which in very simple terms is the sound of static but with a fixed pitch and length. This is probably one of the few areas that I would have liked to hear more sounds outside of the limitations of an 8-bit console, because a lot of the gun sounds throughout the game do blend in together pretty heavily, and the guns don't feel too unique from each other because of this. Maybe if they had added some other synthesized sounds like a square or triangle wave underneath the white noise, it could have added some variation and made some of the gun sounds more unique. I feel that it would have been okay for them to step outside of the limitations they set on themselves a bit in order to add some more variety. Another thing that I felt they sort of missed out on was using a bigger sound for any fire weapons in the game. It's just extremely quiet and gets drowned out by the music. And while most of the fire animations are very slow moving and not really seen as a powerful animation in the game, I think it would have been better if they had either added more power or was at least a little bit louder, because as it stands it's not very easy to hear. However, the weapon sounds are still extremely punchy and satisfying. They're loud and make you feel powerful as a player. All of your weapons in Cave Story can be upgraded by collecting these... Doritos? And when you get enough of these... Doritos, it upgrades your weapons. One really nice thing that they did is actually change the sound of your weapons to be more powerful when you upgrade your guns. It was a pretty subtle change, so it wasn't enough to notice that it was an entirely different gun, but it was different enough to know where you could feel that the gun was more powerful as well. There are also collectibles and upgrades throughout the game, and each collectible and upgrade gives a really nice jingle when collected. It sort of gave off a metroid -y vibe to me. In terms of rewarding and punishing feedback sounds, I felt that the game overall had pretty solid sounds. Like I mentioned, the collectible sounds were nice, and there is also a short jingle for when your weapon gets upgraded. It could have been nice if they played a more rewarding jingle for each succession of upgrading your weapon, but there are only two levels to upgrade to, so I can see why they didn't do it because it didn't really have anywhere else to go. But it's just a potential thought that passed through my mind. One place where I felt they missed a feedback sound was for when you were low on health. There were a few too many times in Cave Story where I got close to dying without realizing that I was close to death, and I even found myself not really caring about dying or my health bar. A simple solution to this could have been a simple low health warning sound that played once your health goes below a certain threshold. Surely there could be many solutions to this, like briefly flashing the screen in a tinted red or maybe changing the character sprite, but a simple low health warning sound could have been a very good way to notify the player. On the other hand, I was a big fan of the death sound. Upon death, the game cuts out the music and just lets the death sound play. The sudden drop from loud music to no audio at all except the death sound really grabs your attention. I should mention that the default music and sound effects volume in Cave Story were unbalanced. It was a simple fix to go into the menu and change it, but the music was originally way too loud and you couldn't hear the sound effects very well. Almost always in any film or game or whatever it is, the sound effects should always be louder than the music. I'm sure that video game composers are hearing this and are probably screaming that their music needs to be heard, but there needs to be a connection between actions in the game and the sound so that the world of the game can be understood. If the music is drowning out the sound, then that sound feedback that the player needs will be gone. This also emphasizes my previous point about the fire sound effects being too quiet. The audio feedback from the actions in the game need to be present. In most games there are plenty of places where it will be quiet so that the music can be appreciated. And in a game like Cave Story where the music is almost always playing, the music will be constant throughout the game, and the players will be able to hear it just fine at some point or another. So anyway, after a simple volume fix, everything was a-okay. We'll just turn up the sound effects, and put down the music just a bit. There we go, perfect. So, now that I've talked about how the sound effects need to take priority over the music, let's talk about how good the music in Cave Story is. It's awesome. The music is really, really nice. I think that the placement of the music offers some really nice pacing to the story and gameplay in Cave Story. What I mean by that is the music actually seems to reflect where you are and what you are doing in the game very well. 
when you're just walking around talking in Mimica Village, the music is pretty cheerful and fun and pretty relaxed. But when you're in an area that you find a lot of enemies, the music picks up a bit more and is more fast paced and thrilling. Not only does the music fit well, but it's also really catchy and memorable too. The soundtrack as a whole fits together very well. So although I haven't talked about it at all, Cave Story is actually partially story driven. If you couldn't tell by the name. Cave Story. Because the word story is in there. And the game is story driven. Like I mentioned, the music actually helps dictate some of the pacing of the story in Cave Story. So the basic plot of Cave Story is that you're a soldier who fell down into this Mimiga village with all of these rabbit people who are called Mimiga. And you kind of just get thrown into the story by interacting with the right characters and all of a sudden you're fighting a giant toaster. So without going too deep into the plot, this giant toaster is a minion of some other bad guys named Misery and the Doctor. And there are these special red flowers that they want to feed to the Mimiga, which turn them into giant unstoppable rabid monsters, and they plan to use them as an army against everyone on the surface. So the plans start to come through, and probably halfway through the game the bad guys capture all or most of the Mimiga. So this is the music that plays in Mimiga Village when you first enter the game. And then this is what it turns into after everyone is captured. You come back into the village, and there's literally no one there. It's just deserted. The happy Mimiga aren't there, and the music changes reflect the emotions from the story really well. It was at moments like these in Cave Story where I realized how seriously they took the game's story. And such a simple change to the music added a lot. To me, it basically gives off a feeling of nostalgia. The drastic change in music is pretty obvious, so you can't help but feel that everything has changed. It makes you look back at a happier time when the Mimiga were all around and that happy tune would play. And all this was done by just some story context and music changes. So just a heads up, there's some spoilers up ahead. Go ahead and skip to 8 minutes and 20 seconds if you don't want to hear them. So another cool spot where they did music changes in the story is when some of the main characters die. There comes a point where you actually have to fight one of your Mimiga friends who turned rabid, and you end up killing her. Upon defeating your friend, she turns back into her regular non-monstrous form, and the music cuts out, and some text flashes on the screen saying that you defeated her. In past times when you defeated a boss in Cave Story, it plays a really cheerful jingle rewarding you. But here, they don't reward you at all. They don't play any sound. The game just sort of lets you sit with yourself knowing that you just killed a main character. And just to add on to the situation, another Mimiga nearby dies as well pretty much right after the fight. This is a pretty big turning point in the story for Cave Story, because the bad guys get a hold of the red flowers that make the Mimigas go crazy, and two characters in the game die. And they just cut out the music altogether, which gives off an eerie feeling, especially considering the context of what's happening in the game. It happens so suddenly too. It's a dramatic change of boss fight music to literally no sound at all. And just like I mentioned earlier with the music cutting out when you die, this really grabs your attention. To me, this pivot point in the story is almost like a representation of a flip of a switch from the story being kind of a happy and go lucky tale to a serious and dramatic situation. Cave Story didn't really strike me as something that would be so heavy on its story, and it sort of only hit me a quarter to halfway through the game, but there's definitely an emotional quality to the game that I didn't expect to find and it really sucked me into the game more than I expected. One small thing I wish I had heard more of is some light voice work. Obviously they were using NES limitations, but it could have been nice to hear some voices in the characters. Maybe in a style like Undertale or Bandra Kazooie where there are no actual words being spoken, but just a voice to go along with the, what you read. I've talked about this in my Breath of the Wild sound analysis, but voices can add a quality to characters that gives you an instant understanding of them by hearing them talk. This is a really dumbed down example, but someone who talks really low and gritty could give off an evil vibe, while someone who talks higher is a cuter character. Some of the enemies have voices though, which was a nice touch. I actually felt that the enemies had more life to them because they would make noises when you hit them. And there was actually some variety to a lot of them which I thought was cool, but I felt that it was a missed opportunity to have voices play for the story characters. I don't know about you guys, but going back to Undertale for a moment, I can identify most of the characters in Undertale by their voices alone. And I feel that kind of understanding of a character can really add a lot of personality. And in my opinion, those voices added a lot to make the characters in Undertale more lovable, memorable, and relatable. With Cave Story being such a story-heavy game, some voices would have been a great way to connect with a lot of these characters. Voice gives the opportunity to connect with the characters, and makes it easier for the player to relate to the characters in the game. If there was a greater opportunity to connect with these characters through the voices, the key story points that I mentioned before could have made an even greater impact because the characters would have appeared to be more real. Cave Story really caught me off guard. I wasn't totally sold on it right away, but it actually turned into a really engrossing game. There came that one moment where the music cut out and the 
Switch flipped into this very serious game. Cave Story was made in 2004, so for its time I think its sound was pretty awesome. And although I felt there were some missed opportunities in the voice work, they definitely made it into a fulfilling experience of a game. Thanks for watching, guys.